Hey guys, Knight and Phoenix here. Uh, with the October 2017 Xbox One update, you can now record up to 60 minutes per clip to an external storage on the Xbox One. So this is actually pretty cool. All you really need to do is have a USB 3.0 compatible external storage device. It can be a hard drive, it can be a thumb drive, flash drive, whatever you call it. Plug it into a USB port, um, make a few settings in the Xbox, and start recording. Now, obviously not everybody has a YouTube channel, and they're going to want to record their games and post them to YouTube. Um, but it does give you the, the ability to record that game, um, all your games actually. Um, and if you have a good one, um, you can, or, or you'll have a file now that you could actually... Oh, give to one of the more popular YouTube streamers who might uh, be interested in uh, posting and commenting on your uh, video. So what I thought I would do here real quick is just show you how to set it up, how I did it, um, and get going. So obviously you'll need an Xbox One. Other than that, you just need some type of uh, USB 3.0 compatible um, storage. And here's what I just, um, I got from Amazon uh, just the other day. It's just a simple flash drive. I did look at a lot of different ones, try to figure out which ones had the best write speed. Um, nowhere could I find uh, from Xbox or Microsoft um, any type of specifications for what you needed other than being USB 3.0. So just a little bit of research, found the one that uh, for an okay amount of money had a really good write speed. I figured I can't really go wrong with now, I'm certainly not endorsing this product, uh, but I've used it this morning, um, got a bunch of games on it, and it works absolutely fine. So obviously, I just pull this out of the Xbox, bring it over to my computer, plug it in, transfer the file, and I now have the file on my computer. Pretty simple. Okay, let's show you the um, setup, how to get this actually up and operating on the Xbox. Okay, here we are at my dashboard. Uh, we're gonna hit the uh, Xbox button on the controller. We're gonna scroll over to the right until we get to settings and then drop down one into settings. You have to go to settings and then click settings. Um, then we're gonna scroll down to preferences. And we go over to broadcast and capture. Then we will select that, and over on the right, you have your capture options. By default, my box was showing 720p SDR, whatever that is. That gives you five minutes max. Um, so I selected the 1080p SDR, which now gives me two minutes max. And you see, I only have an internal storage. So I can save up to two minutes of 1080p on the internal drive. Now, at this point, I'm going to plug in the uh, thumb drive. Oh, I have to note to for game capture, um, the drive does have to be formatted NTFS. You see, now that I plugged it in, it is a Patriot drive. Um, it gave me a notification that it was uh, now ready, and you can see my capture location is now the Patriot. So I'm set up 1080p to record my game captures to external drives. So every clip that I start recording, I can save up to 60 minutes. Okay, to start recording, you simply hit the Xbox button on the controller. You see at the bottom of the screen there, it says capture options. That's the view button, the two little squares that are over. And then you see record from now up to one hour. You hit that, you get a notification, recording started. It's as simple as that. Again, it's the uh, you hit the Xbox button on the controller, and then the button below the Xbox button to the left, those two little squares that overlap each other, that's called the view button. You press that, and that then gives you the option to start the recording up to 60 minutes. When you're done recording, you just hit the uh, Xbox button again, and then you see you have the option to press X, which will stop the recording, and then you get this notification, game clip recorded. So then you can um, look at your notifications. You'll see that you have a game DVR notification. You can go into it that way. Um, or you can go to your home, 
I guess that's what they would call it. We're going through the notifications, you can see the videos there. You can actually go down and delete it from that point. Or if you press your A button, you'll start playing it. Um, and you see you do have a trash icon, you could trash it. I think here we'll go into the, um, I don't know, I want to keep calling it the desktop, but the home. Not a big fan of the new um, layout. So anyway, yeah, we can go up to community. We'll drop down one, go over three, drop down another one, go over one, and we finally get to our manage our captures. You see it's on Xbox Live. Well, we click the A button there, then we can go down to on external drive, and it'll show us what we have on the external drive. And again, obviously you can take that external drive, plug it into your computer, um, transfer the files from the drive to your computer, delete them from the external storage, whatever you want to do. And for those of you who are curious about uh, what type of file do we get here, well, it's going to save it and it's going to create and save it in a folder called Game DVR on your external drive. Um, you can see the naming, it's World of Tanks, 1028, 2017, and then it's going to give you the time. Um, it is an MP4 file, which is nice and easy to work with. You can see it is AVC coding at uh, 1920 by 1080. The audio is AAC at 48,000 hertz. It is stereo. Uh, the frames per second, 29.97, so we'll call that 30. Um, the data size, 661 megabytes. That's for an approximately seven minute video. So you can figure roughly 100 megabytes per minute. So the drive that I have, 128 gigabytes, um, it's gonna give me roughly two hours of storage. Now the data rate, it's only 11.72 megabits per second. Uh, that's not really high, but um, for YouTube, it's perfectly acceptable. All right, so that's it. Um, I hope you found it informative. Maybe you learned something there. I know I've watched some of the council um, YouTubers um, and they often say, you know, send us your clips, send us your videos, um, we'll take a look at them. Yeah, this uh, really does uh, give you the option to be able to do that. So, as always, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.